Hi friends and welcome back to another video. Today it is day 77 on hashtag ASR 99 days data science challenge. And today in this video we are going to look at the linear regression algorithm with one variable. So let's get started. So firstly how does a linear regression algorithm work? It works in such a way that firstly we will get up with the training data set and then we will pass the training data set to our algorithm so in this case it is uh, our linear regression algorithm and then it will provide us an hypothesis line so here this h represents a hypothesis line and we will take a variable x and in which we will have our value in this case that is a area of an house and this value x will be passed to our hypothesis line and this hypothesis line works with our given data x and it will predict out our desired result that is the predicted price of our house so this black line over here is our hypothesis line or also called the linear regression line and now let me explain you how we got this linear regression line in brief with a simple example so here we have a linear regression line but this is not the only line that we can draw through this points we can draw a point like this or rather we can also draw a point like this but why these two green lines are not declared as the hypothesis line rather we only take this black line as a hypothesis line this is because this black line is having the minimal error so here we have to calculate the distance between each and every points to our line that specific particular line and then finally we will come to a result such that a line which have the minimal value so in order to calculate the minimal value summation of i equals 1 till n and in which delta z of i the whole square so here this delta z means the distance between each and every point to the line and in our case this black line comes out to be having the minimal value of this and so we declare our black line as the hypothesis line or the linear regression line and not the green ones and now let me show you how we do or how we perform linear regression in our Jupyter notebook so here I have imported the necessary package and we also have to import the other one that is the linear regression algorithm in order to retrieve that we need to install a package named the scikit-learn so open your command prompt and pip install sk learn and press enter and you are good to go and now in we don't need the full package rather we need only the linear regression part of it so from sk learn we will just import the linear model and yeah we got it and now we have to import our data so df equals pd dot read excel because i have the data in an excel file and here we have the path of it and let's run this out and we have imported our data and now let's look at our data and this is very small data and we are going to use our linear regression algorithm on this data so here the independent variable is the column horse and the dependent variable is marks and now let's plot a scatter plot of this data so plt dot scatter and in which my data frame 
dot the horse as it is the independent independent variable and it lies in the x-axis and the dependent variable marks and it will be lying on my y-axis and finally let's use the color to be red and now let's give them the labels so plt dot x label and let's set it to horse and plt dot y label and let's give the name marks and plt dot title where we will give the name house versus marks and boom we got it and now let's use the linear regression model so in order to do that we need to create an object for our linear regression so in order to do that we will take a variable r and then we will call the module that is the linear model linear model and then in our renal model we will use the function linear regression we did it and now we need to create two new variables that is our x and y so here x is my independent variable and it will have the column hours so df dot i lock and in which in which i will pass the first column so and minus one and here which gives us the first column dot values and then we need to get our variable y which df dot i lock i have to pass the second column that is its index should be one and so here you can see that i have not passing any values in my rows this is because i need the entire rows and now we have to fit these values into our linear regression model so r dot fit and i will pass my variables x and y and i have successfully fitted my particular data into our linear regression model we all know that the equation of a linear regression line or a straight line is always the value y equals mx plus c where here c is the intercept and m is the slope and now let's check for this equation so in order to create that equation we need to find the coefficient and intercept in order to do that we have to use the functions so r dot coefficient underscore which gives the coefficient value that is the slope and here our slope is 9.013 and the intercept in order to find that we use r dot intercept underscore which gives the intercept value and now let's store it in the variable let's say m and this should be c let's run this both out and now let's create our line so my variable line equals m multiplied by the variable x and plus c and now let's plot our line so let's copy this scatter plot out and plt dot plot where i will take my variable x and then my line and here is the best fitted line for this particular plot and now and now we are gonna go to the final step that is prediction so let me predict the value let's say now a student studies for seven hours and let's see and let's see how much marks he scores so r dot predict which is the function that used to predict the outcome and in which i will pass the value seven and let's run this out and according to our model it says that if a student studies for seven hours he can probably score 64.5 marks and let's increase the value let's say the student studies for 9.5 hours and then he can score 87 marks this is solely based on our model 
and the data what we fed to it and yeah that's all for today in this video and in this video we looked at how our linear regression algorithm works mathematically and we also used the scikit-learn package to get through it thanks for watching like the video leave a comment down below and let's meet on day 77